hi guys get ready for a world ride as i spill the tea on our insane rental nightmare in the uk from battling relentless mode invading every corner of our space to the shocking sky high bills draining our wallets guys it was a living nightmare trust me <laughs> we went to escape that toxic environment tune in as we dish out the juicy details on how we had to pull out our plug on our rental contracts early because here in the uk you can't just um and a rental contract and our contract is a one-year contract because of the absurd conditions that made a feel like a haunted house than i mean home sweet home which it was supposed to be from the beginning if this is something you love to watch stick and stay to the end of the video and for students coming in, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to get better accommodation and all of that. I have my wine here, so get yours and or get your popcorn, get your juice, set the ball rolling. I'm going to start from the very beginning. If you've been on my channel for a very long time, you notice I came to the UK with my partner. That was September, yeah, early September. And God being so good, we had an apartment as early as after two days. We've been like chilling in the apartment. We felt the place was nice for us. It was comfortable, even though what I saw on the website wasn't actually the exact thing I, I went to see after we made the deposit. But that was fine because my partner said he was going to make the place look better for me and for our comfort. So that was okay until when we started noticing molds in our clothes and our food. We had um, the flour, everything, basically everything on our utensils plates we had to even throw some away everything became so unbearable to the to the extent that we stopped sleeping in the bedroom because the bedroom was the worst of it or it was the like it was the height of it and when it started we thought like it was a normal thing so we used to ask our friends around that do they experience that some do but when we show them what we experience then they're like nah this is not normal because old kill and we can't live in such a condition for a year. It was affecting our clothes. We needed to be buying clothes every every now and then. Our shoes, well, bags, not even top off. We had to throw some of them away. So we stopped sleeping in the bedroom and sleeping in the living room. So we only go down to the basement when we need to like take our shower or use the toilet. That was it. We couldn't even invite people over because we didn't like the state in which we were in and I mean, it wasn't even motivating me to record YouTube videos because I wasn't comfortable in my space, which led to my depression because like everything was just not so good. My Christmas was the worst Christmas I've ever had. Everything was just bad because you know when you're not living in a conducive place, you're not going to have a peace of mind because at every point you need to be checking modes, you need to be like, we don't even sleep on the bed as if we're just managing and we did that for quite a, a long period that was about six months and uh, before five months and some weeks actually but when this issue started we used to report it to our agent because she she was the one we we're paying the rent too sent her videos pictures we always messaging her telling her like this is what's going on and we can't live here they were always i can't count the number of more specialists they brought to the apartment i can't count they brought like quite a number of them and when they come all they say is we need to move out for whatever the issue is to be solved and one came some other time and said there are some things that need to be done under the the carpet downstairs and also in the walls you need to inject some chemicals into the walls the washroom gets so wet that one can slip and fall the tissues getting wet everything like basically our perfumes and everything that that was arranged over there was always dripping of water living in such a place as a new immigrant in the uk wasn't the best thing because you know you're already struggling to find your feet in the country you you're already looking for a job you're already having like you're having so many things going on and where you'd even sleep has become an issue. You're paying rent every time yet. You're not comfortable and you're not, you're not having your peace of mind. So avoid going this stress. If you're a student coming here in the UK or you're already in the UK, I'm a student is the best for you because even uh, landlords here in the UK don't hard for them to give the accommodation out to students. You also need a guarantor and like it's so stressful when you need like 
a personal accommodation here in the uk but with ambassadors guys it's a stress-free thank you ambassadors for sponsoring today's video but with ambassadors you can book a place for yourself even before you come into the country you go through all this stress that we went through with modes and even getting referencing for your rent and all of that you know it's, it's so hectic and i know when more students are coming into the country i'm going to tell you guys like a few things about amber i know most of you know amber already amber students and those of you that don't know amber students the platform through which students get accommodation near universities they are the largest student accommodation provider operating in 100 plus cities Australia, Denmark, France, United Kingdom, Germany, United States. All you have to do as students coming into the UK, just click on the link in my description now and book your accommodation. Amma provides accommodation in Coventry, Nottingham, Sheffield and London. So all my students coming into the UK do well to click the link in my description to book your accommodation how this amber works um when you click on the link in my description box it's going to take you to a website and you that's where you search for the kind of accommodation you want be it and studio be it multiple sharing and all of that provide students with round the clock free and personalized assistant each step of the way so you search you finalize and then you book you're coming in august if you're coming in september whichever time you're coming in so far as you're a student just click on the link in my description and book at the comfort of your home come in with a stress-free um, property or rental issues one of the reasons i stopped uploading videos i didn't have the luxury of shooting videos in different spaces and different angles I reported it several times for six months and nothing was done about it all what was done was specialists coming in and out of the building every time and the landlord even said he was going to come himself to see the place which he never did my partner had to report this issue to his school there's a section of that in his school that you can talk to people personal about your your accommodation so he did that and an email was sent to our agent directly and when like he realized that we could we could actually move the contract it stays at one year if we leave before the one year it's either we bring in someone to replace us continue to pay the rent till the landlord gets someone else and we can't still be paying bills and rent in the place we don't live the contract has so many clauses which was still keeping us in the apartment after my partner spoke to his school accommodation authorities about it that was when we knew we could move out so we started looking for apartments going for viewings sometimes we get late for viewings viewings get cancelled we go and there are so many people there for viewing i'm like nah we are not going to apply for this because we are not going to get it and we one time went for a viewing around the area still in the area and we met about five different couples coming to view that same apartment the apartment was so good to be true so i wasn't surprised seeing all those people over there it was so like it was so big it was a one bedroom it was it was extremely 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 big fully finished for that price that was so good to be true because of our mode issue we knew things we actually need to look out for we kept on praying about it every time like it became our prayer topic in life <laughs> we started looking for shared accommodation we went for one viewing and oh my god that was when we realized that where we are is is better like it's way better than than th that hand coop the pictures he sent me looked so nice i was like oh this place is nice i would i would manage because i've never wanted us to go to a shared accommodation but being in this situation it's better for us to go somewhere we'll be comfortable for the meantime while we still look for our own space I was already imagining how I'm going to make everything look okay for us because it's going to be in like a space we'll be living with other people. Only for us to get there and the whole space is mm, dirty, to dry their clothes inside. Uh, uh, I mean, everybody dries their clothes inside, but what we went to see wasn't wasn't it? The kitchen was the smallest kitchen I've ever seen. The ceiling of the kitchen 
had come off and the man we didn't even ask him anything he just said oh this came off just today they're going to fix it which was a big red flag the kitchen was very dirty as well they were cooking when we got there and nothing was attractive even the bedroom was was a very small place and with our suitcases cases that we brought it's not it's not a place we can even manage so we just told him oh we are going to come back this is not bad we're going to come back we went and never came back and then i think a few days later he sent me a text and told me that there's this person that is giving their like one bedroom out they're moving out so they want to give to someone else so i should go i should contact the girl and go have a look at the place so i went and i got there i we called the girl several times she never answered her calls and it was snowing that very day it was so cold it was snowing that day and i wasn't in the the, the right outfit for the cold because i left her place that was when she called saying that she was asleep Just leave it in the hands of god and definitely god will come through which he did god came through one sunday during church service our agent called and she was like she has this one bedroom apartment in ls27 so and we're like 27 is too far because you've seen so many apartments and like they're actually nice that area is a very nice area it's a british area it's a very nice area so we're like it's too far yes but right now we need the place and she giving us a new place is going to help us as well because getting our deposit back from here is going to be another long issue so she giving us a new place is actually sounds actually good so let's just that like, there's no harm in going to view the place if we don't like it we don't like it in case the issue comes up she wouldn't say she gave us a place and we said we didn't like it i mean she can use that against us yes because we spoke to a lawyer um, <laughs> yeah it got to, it got to that stage they have these mold lawyers that they work on like properties with molds and all of that and they work for free when you win the case any amount you win you give them their percentage and you take yours so we're actually going to do that but our agent is such a nice lady and we didn't want to do that to her because she didn't deserve that it wasn't her fault it was the fault of the landlord she was just a mediator so we didn't want to do that to her but it got to that stage we almost did actually i almost wanted it to happen because i was tired i was frustrated we came to view the place with um reina my friend we came to view i think it was one evening one e evening after work we met up and we came to view the place and oh my god the moment i entered this apartment this house it's not even an apartment it's a house the moment i entered this house that was when i knew like this is it my spirit told me like this is it this is it like this is what you've been praying for and i mean it was it was ticket or suffer the location wasn't good in terms of my partner's school and my work it was quite far even the first day we thought the bus system was going to be work over here even though it's a bit you know in army we had more options we have if we if you miss bus 15 you can take bus 16 if you miss bus 16 you can take bus 72 or 12 or you can take um any other bus but here it's just like fixed and it's either 51 or 52 or 200 or 201 then we came for the viewing where where we alighted was the town center and walking from the town center to my place to like the apartment was about 10 10 to 10 minutes yeah tops 10 minutes tops depending on how you walk and we're like no this is too far i mean we're feeling lazy because where we live where we used to live in Ami, we had a bus stop right in front of the house we had one three minutes away we had one five minutes away like we just had so many options and they were so close to us being such luxury to working for so long the red flags for us so we had to talk to a few friends and family and we prayed about it and we just woke up one day and we like nah we just take it and we took it and we don't regret taking it the day we came for the key we it for it so the agent left it somewhere for us to take it we brought some of our things in most of our things in before we moved in officially and the day we brought our things in we we're trying to get to know the the lighting system in the basement there's a basement here but it's just for the the meters we we're trying to figure out how to turn on the lights and everything 
because the meter was off and this is a new building we are the first tenants in this building so everything here is just new for us place was unfinished everything you see here was provided by us except the washing machine we were downstairs trying to figure out like the lights only for us to hear a loud bang on the door Came up to check who was at the door initially i thought it was the agent because she was going for yoga class and she was going to go come back to see us before she leaves only for me to open the door and there's police <laughs> the police just told us that like, they had a call that there are two people in black yeah that day that particular day we were both wearing black <laughs> unfortunately for us we were both wearing black and they said he said there was a complaint that there are two people in black um moving in and out of this building so they had to rush here i think this building no one has lived inside so obviously people were wondering what two people are doing in here at night we came at night that was our mistake so we told the policeman as you can see we had our things in the space like this where i'm sitting right now they were just tied in our, our bags some of them were tiny rubber and they were just on the floor and so they, as you can see we just moved in we are new tenants we are trying to figure out the lights downstairs and we are just trying to move in and he was like oh okay sorry about that and so he even went downstairs with us to check if he could help us do the light and when he was leaving he was like next time we'll move in at night and we just left the box and that was it and we we're like did we make the right decision here being coming to this place because this place is a purely white area you only see white people it has a own town center like everything is just beautiful in this this area i wouldn't lie i really like it here it's so calm and one disadvantage is that like most of the shop closes at five because it's a british area so by five everybody's closing and the only thing you see maybe open is maybe those fast food joints even some of them do close early yeah so we moved in and this has been the best decision ever i mean if you've watched this video up to this point i really appreciate it however i'd really love for you to click on the subscribe button now to join my amazing youtube family i'll see you guys in my next video